photographers travel to world's coldest inhabited village where eyelashes freeze and even thermometers break. Gradually, the winter is passing by. This year, it almost looks like a chilled spring. So before winter totally fades away, leaving the endless hot days for us, we bring a peek into the life of the residents of the world's coldest, permanently inhabited place. Sitting on our comfortable couch, this place might seem magical, but do the residents of this village feel the same way? The whole fuzz started when a girl posted her selfie with frozen eyelashes and it went viral. Reporters decided to take a look inside the life of this village, and certainly, the results are unbelievable. Winter is not just about snowfall, and you'll know it by the end of this article. Oymayakan is located in Russia's Saka Republic. In 1933, Oymayakan, the Siberian village, was named the coldest inhabited place of planet Earth after Mercury fell to negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 68 degrees Celsius, located at 63.4608 degrees north, 142.7858 degrees east latitude. It is not too far from the Arctic Circle, just several hundred miles. This place has always remained distant from the other parts of Russia. The village is known as the Pole of Cold, and this name goes with the village, where its average temperature is negative 59 degrees Fahrenheit. The collection of photos that these photographers have brought for us from the coldest village on Earth is clearly depicting the extreme weather. In Oymayakan, winters stay for long enough, and so does darkness. This village stays dark up to 21 hours a day. The question arises in mind what makes people survive in such chilled conditions? Obviously, the residents of Oymayakan live a very different life from the rest of us when we talk about the weather. These photos show that the residents have adjusted with the freezing temperature. Sadly, the temperature they got used to was still to go down as last winters turned out to be colder than ever. Cold wasn't the only thing that was crossing the limit, though. Many other things crossed the limit within the weather. Oymayakan village got its name from a nearby village, Oymayakan River. The word Oymayakan is derived from the even language, a fading language that is spoken only by the people of the even ethnicity. The word Oymayakan stems from the word kium, means unfrozen patch of water, a place where fish spend the winter, while some say it is derived from Hayam, which means frozen lake. The Oymayakan settlement is less than 100 years old. Oymayakan was not a village during the 1920s and 30s, just a bunch of reindeer herders who belonged to Yakut ethnicity used to visit the region. The area had a couple of thermal springs, which the shepherds used for their herds. Those were the times of nomads, who never stayed at one place, but the Soviet government had a plan for the Umayakan region. The Soviet government wanted its residents to settle down instead of roaming all around. That's when they declared the Umayakan area as a permanent settlement zone. Since then, Umayakan grew even in extreme cold conditions. A place that was all white became home to many Russians who were just looking for a place to settle. At present, the village has a population of 500 people. Life at the Omayakan is not only different, but also difficult. People here chose to live a simple life. They work hard to keep themselves as well as their cattle warm. The Omayakan people are used to living a rural life. They do fishing and herding to earn a living. You'll find reindeer, yakut horses, and cows as the main cattle for the area. The keepers of these animals have a huge responsibility on their shoulders, i.e. to keep these animals alive. The barns where cattle stayed during the night are different from what you might have seen in other places. Meanwhile, the fish sellers struggle with cold. The place is colder than our refrigerators. Now this makes sense if the people of Omayakan don't own fridges. For the short duration when it looks like day, street vendors put up their stalls to sell what they've caught. People especially visit Omayakon during winter to experience the weather. Most of the times, tourists couldn't help but stay in shock. 
for a while after seeing these vendors standing outside for hours and hours. After seeing the next image, you won't say it anymore, because even the tourists went on to do intensely insane things in this place. This picture was clicked when a bunch of Chinese tourists decided to play in the thermal springs around the village. The temperature was negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit when this photo was clicked. We must say this is a risky way to enjoy thermal springs. Also, most of the visitors are like Amos Chapel, a photographer from New Zealand. It was surprising to feel the weather and to see how nicely the residents have adapted to it. Almost everything about this village is extraordinarily unique. Over the decades, the villagers have done their best to get used to the sub-Arctic conditions. Sabrina Barr, the person who visited the village, said, Most people use outhouses because indoor plumbing tends to freeze. Even the kids living in this region have incredible patience and dedication toward their routine. While we feel lazy on any cold day to go to work, schools stay open until the temperature gets beyond negative 61 degrees Fahrenheit. They expect all the kids to be present until the situation gets worse, which for us are already worse. I was wearing thin trousers when I first stepped outside into negative 47 degrees Celsius, negative 52 degrees Fahrenheit. I remember feeling like the cold was physically gripping my legs. The other surprise was that occasionally my saliva would freeze into needles that would prick my lips. Recalled Amos Chapel. Coming up next is what frozen eyelashes look like. Oimaya Khan recently got one more nickname when it became home to the famous frozen eyelash photo. Anastasia Grozdeva, a 24-year-old, posted this photo on her Instagram account. Now you can imagine the levels we are talking about. She also went on uploading another picture with the rest of her friends. These girls are certainly increasing the level of fashion. Within days of sharing the photo, it became popular as a new trending makeup style. A style statement was given by Mother Nature. And pictures like these are enough to shock one to the core. We would love to know what encourages people to show such heights of bravery. Oimaya Khan is entirely covered with snow. When we say cold, we mean cold enough that even the thermometers are bursting. The official weather station in Omayakon once announced that the temperature went down to negative 74 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what they reported, but the electric thermometer that was installed in the village a year later showed the temperature as negative 79 degrees Fahrenheit. This was the last temperature that this thermometer showed. The thermometer dropped right after showing the temperature at negative 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Even the thermometer couldn't take it anymore. Well, this is not the lowest recorded temperature of Omayakon, as the village has seen far colder days. In 1933, Omayakon's temperature reached negative 89 degrees Fahrenheit. So far, it has been the coldest recorded temperature throughout the Northern Hemisphere. It was a few years before Omayakon became a permanent settlement. The village's cold amuses the world, while the village's spirit to keep living is breathtaking. Amos Chapel reached the village after completing a seven-hour flight and then traveling some 3,300 miles by road. After the first couple of days, I was physically wrecked just from strolling around the street for a few hours, he recalled. The temperature of the village increases and goes as high as 86 degrees Fahrenheit from June to August. The daylight time increases to 21 hours each day in summer. Even during summer, it's not that easy to make the trip. You can only reach Omayakon by the R504 Kolima Highway that goes far to the Russian Far East. This highway was constructed by forcing laborers to work. While the highway was still on its way to development, many laborers lost their lives due to the weather. That's how it was named as Road of Bones. Also, reaching Omayakon is still easy but it's hard to leave. In Omayakon, if you leave your car outside, its engine won't start again due to cold. Suppose you got to a nearby shop and can't go back because your car isn't ready to start. But here people find out their own hack for it. They leave the engine on so that cars keep going. Other times they have to park their car inside heated garages. Cars are kept in heated garages or if left outside, left running all the time. Crops don't grow on the frozen ground, so people have a largely carnivorous diet. 
reindeer meat, raw flesh shaved from frozen fish, and ice cubes of horse blood with macaroni are a few local delicacies, said one of the residents. In an effort to combine their territories, Russian and American forces built an airfield in Omayakon during World War II. Due to the Lend-Lease policy, American aircrafts were brought to the Eastern Front from Alaska on ferries. Third Regiment pilots that were flying from Fairbanks to Yakutsk could use the airfield. There's just one working shop in the area during the winter season. The shop is the only spot where people can get all the things they want. Around 500 people in a village and everyone shows up at one shop. The shopkeeper must be knowing about everyone's background in the village by now. Dog breeds that grow thick fur can survive in the village. This picture is of a dog who had quite thick fur to stay warm in the cold. Puppies, however, need more care. They have short hair at the time of birth, and if not taken in a warm place, their chances to survive are minimal. To give them a little relief, there is a coal heating plant which gives them warmth in the chilling winter. As long as people are happy living there, it is going well. 